stop of the Soyuz TMA-17M on its way to catch up with the International Space Station. This is really going to help us learn a lot about you know, the negative effects of space on, the, on, the, on our human physiology and then hopefully we'll figure out how to mitigate that. If we were able to monitor both of them um, before, during and after the flight, so we could then by all of these different endpoints that we're looking at, we could attribute space flight to being the, the effector, you know, what was causing these things, um, and not just genetics differences between the two, because they're the same. My level of like muscle soreness and Fatigue is, is a lot higher than it was last time. Um, it almost makes me think of maybe it's maybe there's a linear function to it. I also have an issue with my, you know, my skin that because it hadn't touched anything for so long, like any significant contact, it's very very sensitive to. Uh, it's almost like a burning feeling on wherever I like sit or lie. Or You know, I think for the, the folks who go to Mars, that's going to be, especially the first time, that's going to be such a, uh, you know, an incredible uh, destination and, and uh, event that, uh, you know, they're going to be really, uh, really psyched up for the, uh, you know, getting there. I'll get that little piece of dandruff.